can vegans in our numbers today take on the empire that is McDonald's? I believe so. Here's how. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here in Norwich with my lovely friend VR himself, Mr. Vegan Revolution. <laughs> How's it going? And uh, there was a bit of an incident a bit yesterday. Of a scuffle, you could say. Can you tell us what happened? Yeah, basically, uh, I like to put. I like my whole thing is I like to use art to try and take on some of the people who are causing a lot of uh, suffering in the world. McDonald's being one of them. When, the way I see them, because I think I've lost a lot of my social conditioning, is the fact that they advertise to young children to get the whole family to come along to eat food that's cheap, but does their health a lot of bad, like it gives them type 2 diabetes to children. They use clowns to propagate that message. They call it a happy meal, trademark. <laughs> and I just see them as very sinister. Nothing personal against people who work there. So um, we put a colourful message in chalk on the floor outside McDonald's. And tell people not to eat animals. <laughs> and. Uh, we're basically just encouraging kindness. And uh, one of the guys came out and started scrubbing it away. I'm quite confident, which scares some people, but like, I've spent a lot of time outside slaughterhouses. Once you start to see it for what it really is, like, uh, you take yourself out of the equation. So, um, yeah, I was doing some chalking, very peaceful message, colourful. It says, have a happier meal, be vegan. Happier meal. A happier meal. I like that. <laughs> It is happier for everyone. <laughs> the animals, the people, the planet. The happy meal might have a toy with it. They've done well with their marketing, I'll give them that. They're, they're yeah. geniuses, they're evil geniuses. Yeah. But the thing is, we're, like, we don't see them as the enemy, we just see them as people that aren't on our side yet. And like McDonald's yeah. has the power to like be the best falafel sandwich shop in the world, not yeah. the dead cow sandwich. So I put this message out, colourful, have a happy meal, be vegan, and um, yeah, they came out and like I embarrassed the guy. I shouted to a crowd of people and I said, McDonald's is destroying my art. They don't respect freedom of speech. So this is in public space, isn't it? They have no jurisdiction. Big courtyard over there. and it was a busy the Friday basement. as well, yeah. like summer holidays. So everyone just went silent in the area. Everyone's talking and I just went, excuse me, everyone, this is happening. And the guy ran back inside like, he's not sure if he's allowed to do it. He's on yeah. minimum wage, God bless him. Yeah. All bless him. <laughs> and um, so yeah, basically like he came back out and the team manager was like, no, chuck the water over it. So I lay down on my art. Yeah. And by this time I've got quite a big audience. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm, I'm there. Like. And uh, yeah, basically I wasn't wearing the balaclava at the time. I just wear this to keep myself anonymous as an artist. Yeah. It means the art is about the movement, not about me. Because too yeah. many people get lost in their egos, I think. Yeah. But people want to call me a bank robber and a terrorist. I've never seen a bank robber wear a purple balaclava. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of the joke. And shouting their head off, look at me. <laughs> yeah. Look at me, I'm doing something that's perfectly legal. The police turned up, they called the police on me, having chucked water over me in the art. The police wow, turned they, up. Wow. The police turned no, up because they called them and the police had a go at them. I basically said to the police, like, chalk's fine, it's not graffiti, it's organised colourful dust on the floor. Nice. <laughs> it's just patterns of colourful dust that will be rained away. Yeah. Um, and they the police agreed. said that was perfectly legal. The police said, like, oh, would you mind if we take your details? I said, yeah, sure. Yeah. And they said, to be honest, you legally don't have to. And I said, yeah. mate, save yourself some time doing something important, like, don't yeah. do the paperwork. And they were like, okay then. <laughs> so, like, the police get it. Yeah. <laughs> the police and are on side. No, the police like understand what a peaceful protest is. We've done nothing personal to them. Yeah. The police even said to me, you might have to pee this out, is um, you know, if you were saying the employees there are <laughs> written in chalk, yeah. maybe we'd have to get involved. But yeah. you're not saying that, you're just saying have a happier meal. Yeah. So we're perfectly in our rights to do this. Yeah. And so um chucked water over me. Even the people coming out of McDonald's knew that it was wrong and they were like, yeah, go you. And I was like, look, you're buying the products to support <laughs> yeah. the abuse that they cause. <laughs> yeah. Both to the health, the planet, like the health of the people they serve, the planet in terms of its environment, massive yeah. rainforest damage. Yeah. And um, like uh, cattle farming, basically. Like if you've seen Cowspiracy, you'll know about it. And um, so basically, <laughs> like they chucked water over me. Today, the next day, we come back with super soakers, more chalk, and a lot of vegan activists, because Norwich is brimming with vegan activists. Oh, yes. Hench has, uh, I want to say masterminded it, but like, basically, <laughs> you, you realise this is the opportunity for, for yeah. this is legal. This is a peaceful uh, This is going to be, a, it's going to be a beautiful example of us uh, showing our rights to someone yeah. who's tried to take away our rights. One of the yeah. things I hate more than anything is seeing a woman breastfeeding in public and being told off by someone. Yeah. 
because like you have the complete right to do that. It's tribal, and some people just aren't used it's to that. It's necessary like. for good health. <laughs> yeah, it's like the baby's health. Like if you look on Plant Yourself podcast about three episodes ago, they were talking about the microbiome and how yeah, not having your breath, mother's breast milk is causing a lot of the disease yeah. that we're getting. And nowadays. Instead, we're drinking another species breast milk, which is messed yeah. up. You do that in public, it's fine. You feed your child like the breast milk that you're designed to. So there's a woman there doing that, and she was outraged that McDonald's did it, and I sympathised with her as well. And yeah. she said when she normally goes into McDonald's, they go, "Oh, could you just finish first before you come in?" Wow. And she's like walking in, do you know what I mean? And it's like, society's gone a little bit insane and I like to point that out. So today will be a beautiful example of us going back there, armed with super soakers, peaceful protest. If they're allowed to chuck water over me, we're allowed to do it to their employees. We're basically going to have a water fight in the sun. <laughs> um, assuming that they don't want to retaliate the same way again, it'll all be safe. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping it don't come to that. But, uh, uh, there's going to be a lot of chalk message outside McDonald's yeah. and the thing is I think they're going to learn quite quickly and they're going to have to be trained by like McDonald's at some point because this is good, like we're inspiring other people to do this all over the nation like America might be a bit different your police are a bit different but you start chalking outside McDonald's not on their property no one's going to shoot you or arrest you for that and the thing is when they come out and tell you off that's when you create a scene to the public we're going to train them that they're not allowed to tell us what to promote because they've got billboards everywhere yeah we're not allowed to complain about that how dare they try and stop us from writing a positive message in chalk outside their it's shop it's all positive isn't it it's to help it's to help humans it's to help animals it's to help the planet which they're destroying so how can it be wrong unhealthy children are growing up eating their stuff we're destroying the planet at an alarming rate and uh mm. yeah so like it's hurting their profits so they don't like it the woman came out and said to me um, you do realise this is affecting our business. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't, but I'm happy now. Cool. <laughs> I was like, excellent. Because that's the whole point. So you can call it economic sabotage. They might be losing money because of us, but it's for no illegal reason. So I encourage everyone else in the UK to start doing this. Yeah. Chalk is cheap. Chalk is our ammo. We're going to take on McDonald's. Uh, they're not our enemy. We're just trying to convert them. We uh, just want to help them. They, yeah, they want to be on board so they save their lives it'd as be well. It'd a happier you know? job rather than working over like the grease things, like serving healthy food to healthy people, fueling a nation without killing any animals. Like they want to be on board too. They just don't realise it yet because they're not that smart. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Right. I'm full of adrenaline because like basically it happened yesterday and we're ready to come back in numbers. So it's it's a uh, it's a beautiful example of a democracy, people power. Norwich is going to be the first vegan capital, vegan city. Vegan majority in the world. Yeah. We're going to expand out from here. United Kingdom first. We're going to catch up on Israel, and then like after that, the world, man. In our lifetime. Just watch us. I'm loving it. So I lay down on it and they chucked a bucket of water over me. They called the police. Uh, the police ended up talking fairly understanding that I have the right to do the legal process. Right, but I am going to just, just for the sake of the protest, try and maintain that. But like, the main message is have a happy Yeah, yeah. Cool. How was that? Yeah, the police are really lovely. We live in a country where we support freedom of speech. I feel sorry for countries like Russia, America, like uh, Thailand. A lot of places that are actually run by the military or other dictatorships, mafias. Uh, we are run by a, an animal agriculture mafia in this country to some extent because they have a big part of the vote. Yeah. And they also control the subsidies and stuff. But uh, the police are here to maintain peace. Yeah. Um, Which is what we're bringing. <laughs> and that's what we're <laughs> So yeah. I'm always inspired by, there's a clip in Life According to Ohad, an Israeli uh, activist. When the police turn up and he's rescuing animals from slaughterhouses, he doesn't wait for them to get out of the car. He goes up and asks them to wind down the window. Yeah. And he says, we're looking after the weak. That's meant to be your job. Yeah. You know, like, how dare you try and like come here to stop us? Yeah, it has to get bigger each time, doesn't it? We have to outdo our children every time. Yeah, this is the biggest choke event I've been to. Like, in Liverpool, we need to do the same. Choke and talk all over the nation. So loads of cool activists have turned up today with cool t-shirts. Where did you get this one from? I picked it up at Latitude Festival actually. Yeah, Post Milk Generation. And Theo, I see you've got a new uh, vegan t-shirt. What's that plant-based gain? This one's good for the gym and just being around people who like have a gain mentality. To explain what gain is, like we're a post milk generation, we're also a gain generation. It means don't waste your time doing anything that doesn't benefit the world, you, the animals around you. Yeah. Don't do things that detract or don't add anything to your life. We want to progress into a vegan world. Plant-based gains is the method in which to do it. So we're teaching all the gym monkeys to do it. Jamel from Vegan Kong. Uh, 
What do you think of all this, brother? I think they made a wise choice not to come out and confront us about this. Today. Yeah. We've got too many people. We've got numbers on our side. Yeah, yeah. And we've got love and truth on our side. Did you get the more pisses here? Yeah, we did, but we didn't need them happily. <laughs> yeah. We didn't need them. But we'll probably get each other later. Hi, so where have you come from today? Hi, I've come from Brighton. From Brighton? Um, yesterday to hang out with you all some people. Yeah. Uh, to promote veganism. Because nice. It's really important to save the planet. It's the only thing worth fighting for. For in sure. the world right. and uh, have you enjoyed the chalk in today? I have, I haven't done any myself but yeah. you know, you guys you're handing out flyers and whatnot. Out flyers, okay. so we're uh, we're getting them in and then you're you're learning them up yeah. and uh, what a beautiful thing eh? yeah let's like just spread the love spread the love, spread the love. Spread the love. love. awareness yeah. spread the love not the blood <laughs> Leon is that you been chalking everywhere? go vegan <laughs> was that you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Hi, lovely. Hello, right. Yeah, really good. Are you enjoying today's uh, yes. chugging? Yes, yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely seeing every how much has been done. Everyone's done so well. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be half as much as exactly. this. Even Leon's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> He's the main one. <laughs> hey, Hi. it's finding Gemma. I found you. And how are you enjoying the chugging? Um, I think this is the best day of my life. It's uh, all love, isn't it? That peaceful music over there, it's like really setting the scene, like setting the mood. Yeah. Yeah, I just heard that music and I just got really emotional. Yeah. yeah. There's been no like negativity at all. And so many people came. Yeah. So many people are getting involved who aren't me. Like, yeah. Yeah. I can't believe the police came and just were like, oh, we'll just don't write anything offensive. Like. Yeah. Well, apparently, as long as it washes off, there's no damage, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So we're in, within the bounds of the law. Yeah. Yeah, you having a good time? Yeah. Nice. And what have you written on the on the floor? Um, Any well, messages? I've, I've been drawing around random love hearts and. Oh, I nice. Can, um, have a happy meal. Be yeah. Vegan. Oh, lovely. And love animals don't eat them. Yeah. Love animals and. Yeah. Do you love animals? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Good work, you. Hi, five. Oh, you put chalk on me. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca Pawsey of the YouTube channel. Rebecca Pawsey. Uh, are you having fun? We're having the best time. We're here for the peaceful uh, protest against the animal abuse that McDonald's serves up. No uh, nasty messages, no swearing, it's just positive, it's just stating facts about veganism and about uh, the impact that animal agriculture has on the environment. On your Nicely health. done. Uh, people are getting involved, people are asking us questions, we're handing out leaflets, um, we're just encouraging people to ask for vegan options when they go into restaurants and uh, fast food joints. And then these businesses will have to listen to us in the end because it's uh, what the people want and it's what the planet needs. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a good thing. That's how we win, yeah, yeah, beautiful. Rebecca Pawsey, like and subscribe. You remember me squirting, you don't you? But we're cool about it. That's what's happening. Uh, Leon, do you like Vial or is he scary with his mask on? Oh, <laughs> or is he fun? Is he fun? Is he just trying to make. What are you eating? You've got chalk on your food. <laughs> It's only a little bit, it's, it's calcium. You need calcium, calcium. yeah. You need calcium. calcium. We've got calcium, we've got water. We've got, um, oh, yeah. we got protein. We're doing all right. Hi, dude. So uh, you're kind of transitioning to veganism yeah. currently, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, and you've just come across all this. Yeah. What do you make of all that then? Oh, I think it's, it's amazing, you know. Uh, it's amazing that people are standing up to this. Yeah. It's amazing that people can actually express, you know, try and educate Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good to be able to see that people are standing up to it as well. Yeah, it's all it's all changing. It's all Everyone's changing. getting on board. Yeah. Including you. Good man. Including me and Boom. You know, boom. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely be coming to the Yeah. Meeting. Yeah, come to the meetup. Um meet up. Yeah, yeah, you'll be very welcome. Yeah. Nice one. Alright brother. Have a great day. Thank you. See you again. Show us your hands, girls. Show us your hands. Only my right one's bad because I can't write with my left. <laughs> Oh. I've been smudging with it. Actually, quite, you know, chalk unscathed. You've got quite a bit. I'm not, I look like. Chalk unscathed, chalk unscathed. Oh, word Hashtag. of the day. So, how are you? Let me get you both in the frame. How, uh, shrink. how are you guys <laughs> enjoying the chalk division? It's great, it's amazing. Really, really I enjoy it. I can't believe we've covered so much ground. I think it's awesome. Yeah. It's 
I, I can't believe how many people are just curious about it rather than yeah sort of there's been no like negativity yeah, has there right. it's all been love and like, I, I, I regret the occasional I eat cheeseburgers but so do I so yeah. Anyway, yeah I yeah. had yeah. Um, a great conversation with a lady up there who said that her daughter's just gone vegan and are we part of a group and I said yeah Norwich vegans she's welcome to come along and she said um, I was saying it's so great that you're supporting her that's fantastic and she said oh not only that we're all vegan in the house now I'm not making two sets of meals wow how cool is oh, that? That's amazing. Isn't it brilliant. I was just saying about this really amazing chickpea burger she made the other day and her husband was like, oh, that smells amazing. Yeah. I just thought it was the best. The vegan activist is here. Yo. Shout out to me. Check, yeah, check him out on uh, yes. check him out on iTunes and uh, YouTubes. So uh, how are you enjoying it? Oh, it's so inspiring. Literally, like, I turned up about 20 minutes late. Yeah. And it's just like amazing chalk, like all different colours everywhere. Yeah. It's just, like beautiful. And like everyone's getting involved. Even people that like, they're not vegan, they're not even heard of it. They're just like, this just looks so cool because yeah. it's art. Yeah. It's like, it's beautiful. And like everyone's walking in and they just want to hear the story of like why we're here. So the vegan revolution is just like, you know, someone threw a load of water over me yesterday yeah. and we just came back saying that like you know freedom of speech we all need yeah. to fight for that it's not yeah. like right McDonald's don't own the world yeah. you know they just because they say something you know they can't do it like if we have a message and we want to spread it outside their building like, yeah. they, they can't stop us so yeah I just which think, I think uh, we've proven today and like the thing that's great is uh, we were just like I can't remember we were chatting and I was like oh look Henshaw's just organised this thing but literally it's like you put it out there everyone like you get everyone a little bit excited about it there's a little pop-up thing and we've got like 20 30 people around here all just like chipping in doing their bit or they're either filming they're either chatting with people they're uh, just handing out leaflets it's amazing and yeah. uh, it, it gives me a lot of hope and a lot of faith yeah. that like you know if this can happen here it can happen everywhere I like